Hey there, let's tackle one of the common questions we uh, face, we go over from day to day basis in gastroenterology, how to prep for a colonoscopy, whether it is a screening colonoscopy or uh, it's being done for another reason, the prep is the same thing. So colonoscopy is an exam of the large intestine or the bowel or, or the colon, uh, which contains stool and or poop. So that needs to be cleaned out uh, before we can do a thorough examination with a fiber optic scope. So the steps to uh, the preparation are not that tedious as one might think. It's pretty easy. I'll make it quite simple for you. Um, the instructions, if you see the written instructions might go on for days, five days before eat this, three days before eat that. But for the most uh, common individual without constipation, these things would work. Uh, so you pretty much do eat a healthy diet like you are supposed to until the day before the colonoscopy. Say tomorrow is your colonoscopy. Uh, today you would wake up in the morning and start on a clear liquid diet. When I say clear liquids, these would include things like things you can see through, like water, um, Gatorade, apple juice, Jello, uh, broth, bouillon cubes, water, uh, lots of water, things like that that do not have any solid material and are not red in color. So you can consume lots and black coffee, green uh, green tea, black tea, any of those would work without um, milk in them. So lots and lots of hydration really helps to keep you hydrated as well as the prep to work well. So you do the liquids throughout the day. It's, uh, it keeps your intestines full, so you're not really hungry, so to say, but you might just be bored of eating, uh, not eating, not being able to eat solid foods, and you just have that sensation of what can I chew on? Not yet, not for that day at least. Uh, but you won't be hungry technically. And in the evening, around five or six o'clock, you can, you have to drink. I use a prep um, called Sue Prep. It, I mean, there's different brand names, but then it comes in two small doses. The first dose is to be taken between five and 6 p.m. So somewhere in there, you have a little bit of a leeway. And once you take that, an hour later, your bowels start moving and you start going to the toilet and clean. Um, so you'll, you'll have a short course of diarrhea, so to say. And that is expected and also um, needed to clean. You drink, you have to drink more liquids and keep yourself hydrated through the process. And uh, once that's done, the, you, the next dose or the second dose of this split prep is to be taken five to six hours before your arrival time to the surgery center. And that's pretty much it with the with those prep liquids. Um, you have about two hours to drink more liquids if you'd want because the prep tastes kind of salty, sweet. Uh, it has an intense taste. It is a balanced electrolyte mixture to keep you from getting um, electrolyte imbalance. You can drink uh, water to kind of clear your palate, just feel you know better from um, in terms of uh, uh, the taste. So you can, you're allowed to drink more liquids and come three hours before the appointment time, you have to uh, stop drinking all liquids, nothing by mouth, including candy, no candy, no gum, uh, no medications at that point. If uh, medications such as hyper uh, blood pressure medications were needed, they can be taken, but in that um, period until three hours before the appointment and prior to the three hours. Um, at three hours, you stop uh, all liquids and then it's almost time to go to the surgery center and that is actually the easiest part, believe me or not. You go in, you do your registration paperwork, uh, you're taken care of nicely, you're tucked in, get your IV, and then uh, you're off to sleep. A nice short nap with IV sedation. Get your procedure done. Your doctor will see you before the procedure as well as after. Just go with the findings. And then it's time to think what you want to eat uh, for breakfast or lunch, depending on the time of the day. So yeah, it's not, it's not too terrible. And most of these preps uh, also have a very nice website online. So use that resource too. They sometimes have a 24 hour nursing support that um, you can use to call with questions. 
Um, so the prep I talked about is the split dose prep this time and we'll talk about the large volume preps which are more uncomfortable and I guess it's a lot lot of volume to drink but it can be done if need be as well but we'll talk about that next time. Hope this helps.